We are standing in Voorbrug in Delft, uh, where Freddy Blom, who was, um, according to this community, one of the eldest people in the world, he died on Saturday morning in the age of 116 years. We are at the house, his family home, uh, where we chatted to his widow a little bit earlier. She herself is 87 years old, and they were married for a total of 50 years. Now, I, uh, Uncle Freddy Blom meant a lot for the community of Delft, and the people were very proud to have the oldest man in the world living in their community. And one of those organizations within Delft that was always supportive of the Blom family was the Delft Seniors Forum. And to talk to us a little bit about um, Freddy Blom himself and the work they did with the family is Khadija Francis. Khadija, thank you very much for joining us. Okay. First of all, tell us, how will you remember Uncle Freddy? Um, I will remember Opa Freddy as a humble person. He was a very humble person. He, uh, we didn't even believe that he was that age, you understand? But he's always having that million dollar smile on his face. He was always just uh, uh, um, only there for himself. And if he was standing there by the gate, he was only just looking up and down to the people, you understand? But really, he was a very respectable person. He was really a caring person. He loved his grandchildren. He loved his children that is actually living with him. Enough. And I think that is the children that actually keep him more alive and more happy. And then um, last year we attended his 115th birthday party and then we, you told us that there was an application to the Guinness World Records to have him declared the oldest man in the world. What has come of that? Why is he not being recognized? I really don't know why they didn't recognize him from the Guinness record because that was also our concern because I mean if he is the oldest person in the whole world and in the, in the whole um, South Africa how come that they didn't recognize him because I, I really myself because I mean there was a lady from the Tiger Burger our local newspaper we actually go to home affairs and we actually did go fetch his birth certificate there and that is where everybody also see that he is the oldest man in the whole South Africa so I really don't understand why and what is the reason why they didn't really want to recognize him as the oldest man. How does the community feel about him not getting that recognition? We all feel very upset especially the Dow senior forum especially the stakeholders especially the police everybody that actually always concerned about OPA we are also very confused because we don't understand why they didn't want to recognize him. The only person that actually recognized him is was the Sanla, Sanlam that was actually having their birthday where they're actually putting all the old people over the age of 100 years old on their calendar and that is the only people that actually recognize him and where they actually bring him something. And then you said Uncle Freddy had strong beliefs. What was his message and what does he want you to carry on with in um, your community? Uncle, Fre uh, Fre uh, Fre uh, Uncle Fre uh, Freddy, he actually wanted, he was always talking about us as the Delft Senior Forum, he was always blessed us, he always said to us that we must continue the work concerned about the seniors because there's a lot of people that really not much care about the seniors because they are old, but we don't care, we go out to our community, the people where it's um, seniors, we go out to them. Where it comes by the youth, that is his message. And I'm very, I'm talking the truth. His message is more over the youth because he saw what is actually happening in the community and exactly what happens with our youth. What he actually wants from our youth is to uplift themselves. They must have respect for their parents. They must have respect for their neighbors and all the wishes that they actually wanted when it comes by sports activity, where they want to study further or do whatever they actually want to do. That is his wish. They must fulfill their wish. And will you carry on with that work that he, he wanted to see fulfilled? Yes, I will. I will. We as the Dial Senior Forum, we will continue going on with this uh, for the youth to uplift the youth because in youth, uh, we as the Dial Seniors, for each calendar that there is things like for the June the 16th, we always try to organize things for the youth. And uh, we also will encourage the youth because if you look at the, the Women Month, because if you look at the, what the president actually wants is for the substance abuse, we must go out because mostly about the old people, there are most of them are actually being abused by their children. And then 
where it comes by uh, the youth, we will encourage them to continue. So that's why we say to the people, people must understand we are in the COVID-19. We must listen to what the people saying about your mask, wash your hands, sanitize yourself, look after your health. That is the kind of thing that we must actually go out and educate. Because here is the Dow Senior Forum, they don't have any income. But if you look at them, they're feeding the people. They feed the people. Where the stuff comes is the stuff that I actually give them and that is where they're actually making the food. And maybe just lastly, you say you want help and support mm. for his funeral. Oh yes, we actually want some help for his funeral. We want help for his funeral, but our major is footprints and he is a, a history. He is history. What we actually plead out to the people to help us as the Dow Senior Forum, is there anybody out there that actually can help us with sweaters, print Opa's name on because we don't have money to buy that kind of thing because the day when Opa's funeral is going to be material realize then we expect each and everybody must have a sweater on. We understand it's social distance. We understand that people can only be there, 50 people by the funeral, but we will see what we can do. Even if the people can stand outside with the sweaters, the oldest man, funeral is today that pass on. Thank you very, very much. That was Khadija Francis of the Delft Senior Forum speaking to us about Freddie Blom. Uh, she told us a little bit earlier as well that he was a very patient man. There was never arguments with people. There was peace in his home. Um, he loved his children dearly, his grandchildren, his great-grandchildren. Uh, there were five of them. And he was married for 50 years to Oma Janetta Blom. Uh, and they lived happily together. He was active working until the age of 90 before he finally started uh, calming down and started to rest a little bit. But it's a sad day and a weekend for the community of Delft, having lost after a long, long life of 116 years, as he was known, Wim Freddy Blom from Delft. Right, that's uh, Mariska Puerta at the home of 